All right, so we talked about a lot of different types of profit maximizers, but the most effective type of all, the most effective type of profit maximizer of all is going to include some form of speed and automation. Speed and automation. So whether it's an upsell that offers speed and automation, a Slack adjustment that offers speed and automation, uh, any one of those, the speed and, and automation aspect can be applied to any one of the profit maximizer types that we, that we talked about before. But the key that you need to understand is this. If you can help your customers achieve their desired end result, in other words, thereafter, remember, this is where we all be, this is where it all began. You're moving people from this before state to this after state. And, and marketing copywriting is articulating, hey, our product or service will move you from this state to this, to this state, from the before state to the after state. Well, if you succeed at that, if they believe you, if they say, okay, I'm in, right? And, 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 but, but then you tell them, okay, so this product is going to get you from here to here, but this other thing over here, it can get you from here to there even faster and with much less work. If you can do that, then they'll throw their money at you and thank you along the way. And, and the reason is simple. They've already bought in to the end result. They already believe that you that your product or service, that your brand, that they found their home. They believe that they have finally found the solution that will move them from their before state to their desired after state. Now, they just want to get there as quickly as possible and preferably with as little work as possible on their part. So if you give them that opportunity, if you offer them the speed and automation upsell, if you make a speed and automation type offer to them, they won't be upset that you made them an additional offer. They'll thank you. And the conversion rate is going to be unlike anything you've ever seen before just by putting it in those terms. So let me give you some examples of some speed and automation upsells. If you currently sell a physical product, why not offer expedited delivery, assembly, or just advanced training on how to use it? I know we bought a lot of furniture from Ikea for our office over the years, and I know I would have paid a heck of a lot more money to have somebody come out and assemble it than I paid for the furniture itself. And if they had said, hey, you know, you bought from Ikea, not because we're the best, but because we're the cheapest. And if you bought from us in the past, you know our instructions are comically uh, bad. So if you just want somebody to come out and build that thing for you, we can do it. It'll be X amount. I'd have been done. Yes, thank you. I want a cheap thing that looks good, paying a little more to have it built for me. Great, I'm in. Speed and automation. If you sell information, digital information, physical information, if you're an author or you publish uh, online classes or certifications or anything like that, what about a done-for-you done service, software, even consulting? Being able to say, hey, you, know, you bought this book because you want to learn how to do this. Well, do you want me just to do it for you? I mean, you can read the book if you want, figure it out, or I'm the author of the book. I'll just do it for you, right? Or you bought this book. It's going to show you how to do this, but this software will just do it for you. Or I'm the author of this book. Do you want me to, to show you how to take the concepts and the principles in this book and apply it directly to your life or your business? That's consulting, right? Now, these are not, these are all things that we're familiar with. Services, software, consulting. These are not new concepts. But what I'm doing is I'm suggesting that you position them as speed and automation. That you not sell them after the fact haphazardly uh, as just another product or service, but rather that you acknowledge the previous purchase that someone made. That you say, look, you just bought this book because you're here and you want to be here. And that's great. The book will take you from here to here. But if you want to get from here to here faster and with less work, why don't you just have me do it for you? Why don't you just check out this software? Why don't we get together and, and talk about it? See how it works? Same type of stuff you're doing now, just different positioning to make it a far more compelling offer and to increase the conversion rates. Another example, if you sell software, you could offer installation or migration services or even a higher level of customer support. Give them you know, and, and you see this done all the time with web hosting, right? We recently migrated web hosts. It's because they offered to do the migration for us. Now, they charged us for it, but I wanted it. I, I've been begging somebody. Yeah, sure, we'll move. We do the migration. Oh, no, we don't do that. Really, I'll pay for it. No, we don't do that. Finally found someone who would pay for it, and they got not just my business, but they got extra money in the process. They also had a higher level of customer support where they said, well, you know, we've got our ordinary response time. We promise we can get back to you within 24 hours. We got this one that's, 
you know, that's 12 hours and this one over here that's, you know, five times as much, we promise the phone won't, won't ring more than twice, right? Higher level of customer support. And if you're a consultant or a service provider, you can offer a more hands-on experience. Let them come out to your place of business or where you work or, you know, in, in the survival and preparedness space, we actually take people out into the woods and leave them there and make them survive. No, I'm just kidding. We give them actual training, but it's an experiential. It's, it's hands-on. It's experiential. People will pay a lot more for that. They'll pay a whole lot more for that. If you go to a fancy restaurant, many of them have a chef's table. So you can go and you can sit in a, at a normal table, or you can go and sit at a table that's right by the kitchen and have the head chef preparing your meal and asking you questions and, oh, how do you like this? And how do you do that? And you see him making your food. And then when he's done, he plates it up and hands it to you. It's the same restaurant. It's fundamentally the same food, but it's a different experience. Okay. It's a different experience uh, or, or just the opportunity to cut in line. The opportunity to cut in line. A company that does this better than just about any other that I'm familiar with is Disney. If you've ever been to Disney World or Disneyland, there's the ordinary line and the Fast Pass line. Now they even have Fast Pass Plus, right? And there are even programs that you could pay even more and get taken right to the front of the line. Clubs and associations do this, right? It's where you see velvet ropes. It's, oh, if you're this member, then you get to come in through this door. We do it at our events, at Traffic and Conversion Summit. We have a VIP. If you're VIP, you get to go in through this line, which is shorter. It's has a, you know, it has a, a different entrance. Uh, airlines do this. First class, right? There's your city in a different section, but you also get to get in first. You get to enter through your own line, both when you check in at the gate and when you check in at ticketing, right? All these things, this opportunity to to move to the front of the line, you know, to, to cut in line, to get ahead of everyone else. That's very appealing. But again, it's speed and automation, really more speed than automation, but still it has that aspect of speed. And when you position it that way, it can be a very, very, very compelling offer. So some other ideas to hopefully jog your, jog your thought process about some speed and automation, uh, upsell things, software or an application. So if you're teaching a concept, could you offer software and application that automates what you taught in that concept or what you showed in that concept? A done for you service. Can you just do the work for them or could you contract out with someone else to do the work for them? I'm sure that Ikea has no desire whatsoever to get into the furniture assembly business, but you know what? There's plenty of companies that do. They're in that business. They're furniture assemblers. They could easily partner in joint venture with a national furniture assembly company and still offer this service. Yeah, they'd, they'd make less money because they're not doing the work, but it's more than zero, which is what they're currently making now. Giving an audit or a strategy session. You know, okay, uh, you just bought this or you went through this. Let's get on the phone and let's talk about how this can apply directly to you, right? It, it's kind of like consulting light. Templates and themes. We sell a program called The Machine and The Machine teaches you the correct way to do permission-based follow-up, a five-phase sequential follow-up. Now we teach all of these concepts, but we, what we also give are the 36 campaign templates that we use. So it's training plus templates. Templates so you don't have to write the emails yourself. Speed and automation, right? It's one thing to teach the concept. It's one thing to say, oh, you should write an email kind of like this. And here's an example. It's another thing to say, you should write an email like this. And oh yeah, here's just a template. There you go. It's written for you. That's a template. Supplements in the health and fitness space. You know, you think about like a, a beach body, a P90X. Okay, great. You just bought this workout program uh, and the workout program is great. It's going to get you ripped. It's going to get you shredded. But if you pop these pills, it'll happen even faster. Supplement, speed and automation. And then equipment and tools, equipment and tools. Yep. You can hammer this thing yourself, or you can get the pneumatic nail gun and right speed and automation, higher degree of equipment and tools. So these are, gives you six categories that you can think of. But if at the end of the day, if you're still just clueless, if you know, you would like to offer some type of a speed and automation, um, upsell and you don't know what it could be, here's what I recommend. It's three magic words that you can add to the thank you page or to, a, to an interstitial page once the offer is complete. And it's simple, just simply just want some help. 
want some help. Hey, you just bought this thing. We found that a lot of people who buy this would like an extra degree of help. If you're interested, you know, fill out the form below and, and we'll, we'll get in touch with you and reach out to them and say, what do you want? What do you want? What, how can we help you? Don't say, what do you want? Like, why'd you call? Because you actually asked, they asked you to call. That'd be a jerk thing to do. You get what I'm saying. But ask them, how can we help you? You bought this product or service because you're hoping it's going to take you from the before state to the after state. And it will. But what more do you want? How else can we serve you? And then give them that. And when you start hearing the same things again and again and again, then you change up your offer instead of saying, want some help? Tell us how we can help you to just offering that. Right? To just offering that thing and, and there you go. That's where your market goes ahead and, and they just give you uh, what your speed and automation should be. So, hopefully you don't have to resort to this. Hopefully you have some ideas of your own. If you do, I would like for you to start making a list of them. So go ahead, brainstorm at least three, three speed and automation upsells. Think about it. What is the desired end result of your market? What is their ideal after? What is their ideal after? When you know that, and, and you know that your product or service will get them there, then ask yourself, how can we get them there even faster? What could we give them that would get them this desired end result even faster? It's the simplest sale you will ever make because there's nothing actually to sell. They've already bought into the concept. They've already bought into you. You're just simply saying, want it faster. And more times than not, I think you'll be surprised when, to see that uh, their answer is yes. So think through this, come up with some speed and automation upsells, and I'll see you in the next video.